Okay, guys, this is take two of an unboxing from my buddy Cliff up in Anchorage, Alaska. I I just went to edit the video. I don't really edit, but in, in iMovie, you have to format it for YouTube. And there's a little thing, whatever, right? And when I did that, somehow, I think when I hit record, I hit the slow-mo button. So it was a 15-minute video with my voice all drawn out and everything in slow motion. I'd... So let's just show you what he has sent up. He sent <laughs> a Mid-Tech Hellraiser because he is making fun of me because I don't have one. So he sent this along to Fondle. He also did send a note um, with the list of everything that he sent. Uh, and return shipping. So return shipping is super appreciated, okay? Anybody that loans in knives, you don't have to do that. I do send them back and I pay for that. That's cool. But Cliff has done that before. And a, a couple of other uh, viewers have also done that. And it's really appreciated um, because it does help out. So I do appreciate that. Um he also did send me a list on Facebook prior to shipping the knives. So I knew what was coming, but I don't remember exactly. So we're kind of seeing it together for the first time. Although I did just see it in my messed up unboxing. So this is a McNeese Custom. This is a Sod Buster front flipper. I've done a McNeese before and I thought it was really cool. Um, I believe it was small. It might have been Cliff's also. I have to go back and look. Um, it was like a three inch or three and a quarter inch. And he was coming out with a three and a half, which I think is more my speed. Now, this is a cool knife. It's a little odd because the show side is so much thicker than the lock side. But we'll talk about that in the full video. Okay. This is really just an unboxing of what is coming here shortly. How about a Chavez? I love the Chavez's. This one, shockingly enough comes with a standard clip because everybody well not everybody because I don't a lot of people don't like the Chavez knives because of this skull clip they legit won't buy them because of the clip they've listened and they include you a normal kind of a, a standard pocket clip so I think this is the Chavez scapegoat that's what it's called like all the Chavez it's Super cool. And I love the red and black carbon fiber. So again, we'll talk all about that in the full video. Hoback Knives, always a great presentation. It's Hoback, Hoback Buster, which is pretty cool. All monochrome stonewash blades, stonewash handles, and scale. Like just, yeah, this is pretty cool. I love the milling that is between the lock bar and the scale. Just a great job. So this is cool. And I love the Hoback packaging as always. Just going to stick that off to the side, that off to the side. Oh, Homer knives. This Homer always does cool stuff. I've done a couple of his knives before. And they're, the ones I've done before are very similar in design with kind of that rock chip pattern and stuff like that. So it's very cool. What's unique about this one is it's a lockback. Now lockbacks are not really my favorite. Oh boy, it has good action. That, yep, bit me a little bit because I'm a dumbass. So, but very cool knife for sure. And the lockback is just kind of a neat aspect for that knife. So there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And we'll do full videos on these very soon.